In this video, we're going to do a problem practicing with one-dimensional coordinate systems. So we have a ball rolling 0.2 meters each second for three seconds and then stops. And so first we want to draw a picture of this event. Always start with a picture. So we have this table, brief table. I have this ball, starts on one end, and then in each second it goes 0.2 meters. So here's one second, two seconds, three seconds, 0.2 each time, and then it stops. The picture is always good because it gives me a visualization of what's going on. So I have a picture, and I want to put a coordinate system on the picture with the origin where the object started pointing in the direction that it rolled. I'll put the origin right here where it started. I'll draw the positive axis in the direction that it was rolling. I'll give it a coordinate. I'll give it positive x. So we have an origin, a zero, we have a positive direction, we have a variable. Now that we have a coordinate system, we want to write a table that shows what this coordinate system measured for each second through five seconds. So time, each second, we want to know its position, which is x in meters, for five seconds. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. At Zero, it was at zero, measured by this coordinate system, and one second later it had gone 0.2 meters. By the second second, it had gone another 0.2 meters, so given my coordinate system, that would be 0.4. At three seconds, it had gone 0.6, at which point it had stopped. So four seconds later, it is still at that location, which is 0.6, and at five, it is still at that location, 0.6. There's my table. So now let's draw a graph of the position versus time for this data. So in position versus time, so I'm going to draw a graph. Here's time in well, seconds, and here's position x in meters. I'm going to give myself some ticks. Three, so one, two, three, four, five. Here's the origin. And I'm going to two, four, six, eight, point two, point four, point six. So I have some space to, to draw. At 0, it's at 0. Then 1, it's at 0.2. 2, it's at 0.4. 3, at 0 0.6. 4.6, .6, and 5.6. So this is, should be a straight line. So it's a straight line through there, at which point it stops, which gives me a horizontal line. So that's it. I have a table given that coordinate system, and I have a graph of that data. Now I want to repeat that exercise choosing a different coordinate system. Now I'm going to choose my zero at the location where it stops and have the positive direction in the opposite direction. So that means positive would be going this way. This is positive and we'll, we'll give it still positive x. And I know that the separation between each of the, the seconds is 0 0.2 meters. Okay, so now I have a picture and I have a coordinate system on my picture. So first I'm going to put together a, a table. So at t is equal to zero, the, the ball, it's the same situation, so the ball is still here at t is equal to zero. Where is that on my coordinate system? Well, if each of these are 0.2 meters, that means it starts at a positive 0 0.6 meters at t is equal to zero. Measured in this coordinate system, it starts at 0 0.6. And now it's moving towards the origin, so one second later, it's two meters closer to the origin, so that's 0 0.4, the location. And then one second later, it's two meter, 0.2 meters closer at two, and now three seconds is where it stops. It's now at the origin in this coordinate system, which is zero, and it stays there, four and five. So now if I want to graph this data at 0, it's at 0.6, at 1, it's 0.4, and 2, it's 0.2, 3, now it's 0, and it stays at 0. So the graph looks like this with this coordinate system. Same event, but with a different choice of origin and choice of direction of the coordinate system, you have a different tabular and graphical representation of the data.